Hey everybody, Rich and Mike here with What's Hot this week. So we got a bunch of stuff here on the table that's hot and lots of cool news to go over. Let's start with some fishing stuff. So it's fall. Everybody knows what the best time of fall is. Top water. Top water. That's right, top water poppers. We oh, have, and as you can see them. We've got an assortment for you. So we've got some still water smackets, extremely popular uh, topper for the bay, nice deep rattle really stout hooks these things are rigged right out of the box to be fished you don't have to change anything out it's got that feathered hook on the back that adds a lot of nice action and flair as you're working those on the surface big assortment of colors i'm a big fan of all of them just depends on the conditions as to which one i'm picking and then the little brother the smack it junior yes we have both in stock at the same time big big news big big big, big news. news we always have one or the other but now we have both of them in stock. that's right so for now for now exactly for stop in and grab those because they are hot uh, that's a great lure and a great size, especially with a smaller bunker around. Uh, we've got a couple of rig stuff from the store. We've got some tandems for trolling. We, uh, light tandems, we've got some bucktails. We've got some rubber skirt in the smaller mm -hmm. sizes, perfect for this time of year. We've got some rigged poppers with the teaser dropper behind them. So poppers are great. Popper with the teaser dropper is even better. Um, we got some pickerel stuff getting rigged by our local guys here at the store. Uh, pickerel season's coming on us. It's gonna be close. Um, so definitely come in and check those out. Let's see, what else do we have, Mike? Some reels. Let's talk about these Daiwa reels. So we just got these Daiwa Alexa. Uh, nope, these are the Daiwa Tatula. 300. 300, big, Eight, big reel. One gear ratio. We've got left and right. Look at the depth on that spool. So that whether, is some deep spoolage right there. That is, whether you're looking to have heavier pound braid and still maintain a, a decent amount of line, or you're looking to load up for depth, um, these are great. You could definitely use these for wreck fishing off Ocean City, use them for snakehead. You could use them for... You could use them probably for Kobe. They have a lot definitely. of drag, um, line capacity. The nice thing about these, they have the Daiwa's T-Wing um, they do. Line yeah, guide there. Out. So um, it allows for an easier, smoother cast. And it's the, so basically, the line's not pinpointing to one little area. It's going to have this wider section here to come off the reels a lot smoother. Absolutely. Absolutely. And these will pair well with some of the nice rods that we've been getting in yes. lately. We've been talking about some of those uh, Shimano, uh, the uh, St. Croix rods that we've been getting mm -hmm. in. These will work, work really well for those. Um, so let's see. What do we got next? Let's talk about it's the fall. Everybody knows what, another thing besides top water. What comes in the fall? Oysters. Yep. So Burr. all the and it must in an R. So we've got a full selection of oyster knives in stock. We've got your toadfish. We got the Jo wooden handle. Uh, we've Dexter got the Russell. The Dexter Russell, which is a good favorite. And we have we can't forget about the first aid kit that probably goes along with the oyster knives. That's because right. With the oyster knives, knows. that absolutely safety first. So the that rag gives you a really it's cut proof and puncture resistant. Um, but those rags really help give you a good good handle on those oysters when you're shucking for safety purposes. So just make sure you shuck safely. Along with that, we've got the toadfish fish spatula. I'm a, I am in it. I'm just in shock. I love it. I am a, I love cooking fish. I am a sucker for a good spatula, especially by toadfish. Good grip. It has a really good weight. Yeah. The long spatula part thing yep. do yep, yep, yep. that, mm -hmm. that, that thing there the flipper thing flipper that, movement. that's it yep. um it's it's great it's really flexible um it's nice and um thin and flexible for when you're you um flipping those lighter flakier fish you don't have to worry about like a stiff spatula getting it and just breaking it it's nice and finesse it's nice finesse to the flip that's right finesse to the flip the old it took all that time to catch the fish fillet it properly season it well mm -hmm. cook it great you don't want to tear it apart when you're getting onto the plate. Exactly. And everything that Toadfish makes is great. It's, I love it. It's, 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 yeah, they'd be really, really nice stuff. So definitely come in and check out the collection of those. We've got the new anchors. The anchor by Toadfish. So basically everybody knows the the um, koozies that they make. Well, these are now a anchor for a cup. So everybody knows the non-tipping. There, look, look. And then you can just easily remove it. But non-tipping Lindsay loves it on her paddle board um it, they're just great all around for your, all your drink and they fit a cups. wide variety of cup sizes yeah, too, which so is nice the, they really thought it out i mean might as well go into it the new yeti um colors in the i do believe it's just called the pink ice pink i'm sorry ice pink. ice pink it fits all of them we have the 
bigger size, smaller size, and we have the slim can for all you claw drinkers and such. That's right, exactly. And that also fits in the anchor. Sticking with the can theme, we have the... Broom 8, we have the whole gamut of colors. So a, a lot of people like collecting these. The Yeti people, the Brume people, they love collecting all these different colors for different occasions and different things. I know have a couple people that have some serious problems <laughs> with collecting all the Yeti things. And so. these companies don't make it easy on us. They keep no. making more and more and more of these. So um, definitely come in and check out some of the new colors from Brume. These yep. are really, really nice, nice. New designs on them. Yep. This one I have to point out is really cool. It's not only, it does not only look like wood, it's actually textured to almost feel like wood. It's really cool. That's really cool. I mean, it's, uh, it's just cool. Nice, I like it. So let's, uh, let's move in. So going with camo, let's move into some hunting stuff. Tell us about this scope. So this is new to us, the new di um, the Vortex Diamondback, the 1.75 to 5 by 32. It's going to be a good scope for, you can put it on ARs, you can put it on a um, new straight wall cartridge rifle, um, shotguns. If you don't have a really far place to shoot, if you're in dense woods, it's going to be great because you have that low, super low power of um one and three quarter to all the way up to five, which is going to be nice to zoom in a little bit more. Um, so it's, it's just a nice scope because, I mean, how many times you get deer to come in at like 20 yards and you're using a gun and they never come in in both season, of course, but um, you're using a gun, you're like, oh my God, you have this like four to 12 or three to nine. It's hard to see them you're trying to like look through and you're like, oh, where is it? Where is it? All right. And then that one, that's nice. Uh, it's a nice low power to get a good shot on. Absolutely, absolutely. And for the home defense, which has been a huge thing for us lately, oh, yeah. obviously in the world we live in, we've got some cool ammunition in that's for home defense Bio or wildlife control. Why don't you yep. talk about Bio some light field. So we have the whole gamut, 410, 20, and 12 in the different variations. Um, so these are like wildlife control or less lethal um, defense ammunition. So we have some rubber buckshot here. Um, this one is the rubber buckshot, good for like shooting bears or people that want to, I don't recommend shooting people if you don't intend to protect yourself. Or That's right. We don't recommend don't, it. Yeah. But it's going to be, as Roger would say, devastating. If you, You're not going to get up, at least not quickly from this. No. It can, it is lethal. It can be lethal, but it's a lot less lethal. Uh, this one is just the double ball um, there. And then we have the rubber slug there. That's got to that's be on, that's painful yeah you're not getting painful, up painful then we have just the um magnum blank so if you're not comfortable with um live ammunition i can almost guarantee you if you shoot that in your house with an intruder they're getting the heck out of there i'm gonna I, run i mean that's just Definitely. a given and we've um, got a few in 20 gauge and 410 as well yes. so kind of cover all the different shotgun mm -hmm. sizes for, for whatever gun you have at home um so Move it's some... it's top water season it's oyster season it's porter season. It is. So talk to us about this. I can't talk about this beer because I'm a superstitious kind of guy. What's the deal with bad luck banana? It's just not, uh, <laughs> I mean, it has a picture of a banana eating a nice sport fisher boat. I mean, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. But I bet you it's delicious. Yes, made by Finn City Brewing Company. It's bad luck banana chocolate banana porter. That sounds fantastic. I don't think um, it does. It's the local brewery Ocean, in, um, from Ocean City, Maryland. Um, speaking of that, customer appreciation event, they're doing a tasting, and I do believe it's going to be what, Lindsay? October 16th, 17th, and 18th. And that's Is right. There a discount? There's a 15% discount mm -hmm. on Fin City beer, and you'll be able to meet the brewers and talk to them and taste some of their beers. Yep. It's a little meet and greet, little tasting going on. That's mm -hmm. going to be a good time, so definitely stop by October 16th, 17th, and 18th here at the store. Um, we'll move on to the Yingling Hershey's Chocolate Porter. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's going to be a good one. I oh, yeah. don't have much to say because I'm, you know... It's a porter. You gotta try first. Yes, exactly. Yeah. See, exactly. I, I'm a more taste first and then ah, tell. There you go. Exactly. I like it. So let's see. How about some jackets? Yes. So it is getting cooler. Been a little windy the past couple of days. Anybody yes. that's been out recently has known that. Mm -hmm. So we've got a, a small sample in here. Let's start with these Salty Crew jackets, the little puffer jackets. We've got the vest, and then we also have the full zip jacket. Uh, zipper pockets on here. This one's pretty cool. It's got these flapper style jackets. They, they actually fit all kinds of fun stuff right in there. Flap Look at that. Them. Pretty nice. Zipper front there, little side pocket. And these are extremely warm. They're water resistant coating. Um, the color's great, like that olive green. It's just a good color to have. Um, I feel like everybody looks 
I mean, I shouldn't say good, but decent in, That's right. in olive green. Yeah. Um, yeah I know well. I like them. It's a really comfortable, puffy. It's going to be super warm layering piece. If you want to just have, if you're even going duck hunting to put that on and then have your camo outer layer, it's yep. going to be great. Keep you warm, especially Absolutely. the vest so you have mobility in your yep. arms. Um, and definitely not a rare breed around these parts. We've got some Drake wear. Yes. So well, I know Charlie, the owner, is this is his absolute most favorite jacket that we carry. Yeah. It's it's funny. I hear him say it every day in the winter when someone brings it up. He'll run over and say, hey, hey, that's my favorite jacket. <laughs> and it's true. It is. I own one of these. They're really comfortable, windproof, super nice grid-type fleece in the inside, your magnet pocket there. Oh, so you don't have to worry nice. about zippers breaking there. Easy and easy. You have to yep. quick to reach items. It's a nice classy look for... It is. I really like that quilted pattern look to it. It's got a nice fabric, good feel to it, and uh, definitely going to help cut down on the elements. And then another thing... Oh, elastic cuffs. That's definitely a nice feature. Yeah, definitely. especially if you're using it as a layering piece. You don't have to worry about when you put it in your jacket. Yep. Thunk, it's and no extra bulk. So when you do exactly. layer with something over top, a heavier jacket, and when it starts to get a little bit cooler, there's not extra bulk at your sleeve. That's one of the things that I hate the most, is having all that bulk right down at your sleeve there. Uh, so I want you to talk a little bit about this Drake jacket as well. This is going to be a full zip. Everybody knows we, we carry these in the vests. Mm -hmm. I do believe this is new for us this year, the full jacket. This is a phenomenal looking jacket. I like the two-tone, the brown and the olive green. The same magnet yep. pocket there. Um, great zippers, your little duck head um, logo there for the Drake logo as your yep. zipper pull. Uh, just an overall classy looking like, hey, I'm chilly out. I'm going to go out to dinner. You look fancy, yep. yet cool. Yep. That's the main thing. You look cool. That's right. So it's we got you covered game. top to toe. So let's talk ah, about these. Top to toe. That's right. Segway into these the extra tough boots. The new women's extra tough boot with express cool liner inside. Um, they're just an overall cool boot. That matte black finish. That cool like fish scale pattern on the back. Say, hey, I like to fish too, but That's I also right. like to party. That's right. And it's got the blackout style. So you got the black top, black neoprene, black accents, black logo. So pretty and snazzy looking yes if they made my size i'd probably wear them that's right i know you would yeah so i think it's it pretty much covers everything that we've got going on uh, definitely want to check out the uh, website anglers uh website for the information about the uh customer appreciation weekend again october I, I, 16th yep, 17th and 18th know, like these, all these lures on here are gonna be 20 percent off yep um almost almost all of this stuff will be discounted not saying everything but majority of it um Come in and get your Stroop waffles or your Rainblow gumballs. That's right. That's right. We forgot. I can't. Oh, we got it for these. candy. Yeah, it's hiding down there with those fantastic. Our lures. new candy selection includes Rainblow gumballs. They're gonna be great. That's right. And then the Stroop waffle. It is a soft toasted waffles filled with caramel, cinnamon, and real bourbon vanilla. They are go. phenomenal. I like it. And this is cool, like. Got the stroop waffles? Yeah, I got your stroop waffles. We got stroop waffles. Mm -hmm. That's right. We have everything. We do. We do. So, well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we look forward to doing this again next week. Mm -hmm. So that's what's hot for this week. And definitely check out the customer appreciation uh, information online. And we will see you guys next time. Good thank luck out guys. there. Have fun.